All right, so pitch bends. I'm always asked, what's the best way to do pitch bends? Pitch bends with 808s, your 808 tuning, having a glide to it, or with basses. But nowadays, people are using a lot of pitch bends in their music. You hear it on hi-hats, snares, as well as the 808 booms. And what I'm gonna show you now is how to draw all that in and have complete control right inside your MPC software. Now this is something that the MPC software has done since day one and I've covered it in prior tutorials available on the website for the MPC software. But the way it's done now has changed since 2.0. Alright so to give you a for instance I got this drum beat I created here and I have some of the pitch bends on my hi-hats and my 808. So this is the 808 and this is the hat I used and you could actually see the actual automation I drew in here. This is the kick and it's gonna pitch down and you're gonna hear it on the tail end of that 808. It's gonna hit normal and then while it's reverberating it's gonna actually do that pitch bend. Okay so here it is. Now to just to focus on that kick drum let me just remove the snare and hat And here's what the drum beat sounded like before I did the pitch bend changes on the 808 kick drum and the hi-hat. Okay, and here they are with them. All right, so that's something you hear a lot, especially in music that's hitting the radio, are these pitch bends. This is the secret sauce and the kind of stuff that you only get with Sounds for Samplers instructional videos. All right, so let me show you how to set all this up. Now this was in older tutorials on the software before it was 2.0, it was called RT Tuning. All right, so here it is. Here's how you actually draw in your pitch bands. This is done through your MPC software. Hopefully one day we'll be able to draw these things in right from our touchscreen MPCs. That would be awesome. So let's go ahead and set this up. Now the first thing you want to do is select the pad that we want it applied to. All right, and I'm going to go here to my section where velocity is and you have your modifier for your X and Y. Make that a little bit bigger so we can see an extra parameter. It's going to get added here for tuning. And underneath that, we have this little drop down. That's where you want to go. You want to click that. You don't want to go to track. You don't want to go to program. You want to go to pad, not mixer, parameters. And the very first parameter is going to be tuning. That's what we want to select. You'll see now it made a new section here in this box for tuning. So now to the right of that is the section where you're going to draw in your pitch bands. And what I like to do is turn my quantize off. So either do it through your MPC controller or you could just go right down here to time correct, turn it to off, and we're going to be selecting our pencil tool through the software. Okay, so you'll see here a little dot. This is our tuning dot. This is our very first event here. And it's showing us it's at zero tuning there. And that's what we could go by when we do a pitch event. Now it's showing it's minus 16. And since I have no quantize on, I could actually roll stuff. And then when this second kick drum comes in, I'm gonna make another event to make sure it remembers to put that back at zero tuning. So it's going to start off triggering at zero tuning. And as it's reverberating, it's going to do a pitch bend up 38 and down 88. So I'm going to just solo that kick drum so you can hear those rolls at the end of it. And let's add some more while we got this soloed. Make sure my pencil tool is selected. And I'm going to do a roll at the end of the second kick drum. And I'm going to bring it back to the original tunes. So as you can see, we're starting to get some nice portamental glides on our 808s. Alright, so now let's apply that same technique to the hi-hat we used. 
So here's the hat. I selected it by tapping it. I'm going to go down here to the drop down arrow, pad, then go to parameters, select tuning. Make sure my pencil is selected. And let's listen back to the hat. So what I want to do is maybe do some pitch bends here on this roll. So what I'm going to do is this little roll and then I'm going to make sure that when the next hat in line is pulled up, it'll be back at zero tuning. See, it has that little bit of portamento that really sounds awesome. It's kind of trippy. So I'm going to add one more here. On my second hi-hat, I'm going to bring it down. So, so now it's starting to sound pretty interesting. We got it going with our 808, and we got it going with our hat, and here's how it sounds. Alright, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, make sure to visit the links in my description, no matter what MPC you have, to fully master it by purchasing one of our MPC instructional video series available on our website. And yes, we now have digital delivery available on some of our newer tutorials, including our MPC 2.0 instructional video series. Thanks again for watching, and peace.